and kui horai and aremai. Hello and welcome in Maori, pool fans from around the world. Day five in beautiful Hamilton, New Zealand. Three world championships this week. $425,000 in prize fund. And this is the Yalin WPA World 8-Ball Men's Championship. We are down to the quarterfinals. The final eight left standing out of a true international field with 64 of the top players in the world. This is the knockout stage, of course. In the last eight, this is George Teche in the booth with Tim de Ruder. And what a match we have. Joshua Filler from Germany. Chang Zhong Li from Taiwan, Chinese Taipei. 39-year-old versus the young blood, 26-year-old German. Here we go. He's checking out his shirt. Tim, say hello. Hi. <laughs> You're so excited to be here. Of course. I mean, what, does it, it get better be than this? Don't think so. This, this must be one of the best matches we've had this week. This is pool. The man sitting to the left, Chang Zhong Ling, has been in like six tournaments in this past two years into the final 16. The Las Vegas Open, the World 10 Ball, the World 8 Ball last year in Puerto Rico. And then the other man, wow, well, he was just burning up the track last year and, and uh, this year. And what was it at Derby City? He went wild, won just about everything. Three-time Moscone champ, five-time player, U.S. Open champion, world nine-ball champion, 2019 Arizona Billiards Player of the Year, and Josh to break. This is a race to 10, playing eight ball. Well, great break there. Made the 13 in the side. Nice square hit, a lot of power behind it. So let's see what he can do. Most of the shot nearby is solid, which I don't mind going for solids. Just a six ball could be tricky. And the seven ball. Yeah, if the seven doesn't go by that, uh, is that the no. 11 ball? Yeah, but it, yeah. it doesn't go, I, I believe, so. Then it is trouble, because the 10 ball has it blocked also for the other opposite corner pocket. Josh has 60 seconds after the break to decide what to shoot, but he also has an extension. One per game, though, so if he uses it up fast... And he's only got 10 seconds now after he's burned up 50 seconds. Wow. Yeah, but they actually need the time after the break. It's also due to the to the hand racks, of course, from the referee. But also, it's still 8-ball. And sometimes they open up so nice you don't even have to think. And sometimes they just get really tough. It's part of it, so... He has chosen to go solids. Like I said, I don't mind getting to the six as soon as possible. Of course, the six goes to the top right corner. But in order to do something with the seven, well, he could play the four and go two rails to the seven in the same side pocket, for example. I see, really I see that, and then from there to the six. Yeah, yeah, but you gotta get great on the seven, like straight, ideally. Uh, How is the speed? Does he get on top of the eleven? No, but has a small angle, and that's why I like that fact that he kept the five and the one there, because he's still fine. He could draw into the long rail. He could float it in too if he can hold the cue ball. what he has done the six does go to the bottom corner as well so five one six in the bottom probably get the eight either in the left side pocket or the left top left corner
to the head rail and back towards the six. Nice and soft. Yeah, I believe he's got the angle to yeah. play stun draw. Eight in the left side pocket. Doesn't have to power the ball either, so pocket speed to this corner. All right in the heart of the pocket and an opening break and run. Don't see him missing this eight. No. And break and run it is. And that, he just displayed the importance of planning out your uh, plan of attack at the very beginning, taking all the time you have to, because he just produced everything he wanted to. A win. Sponsors are Yalin, Massé, Ben Billiards, Kamui, Billiard TV, Little Monster, and of course Predator, and the WPA sanctions these events. All three of them, the Women's Nine Ball, the World Junior Championships, and the World Nine Ball Women's Championship. And they are down pretty close to the their final eight. I think we might still have a match going on from the final 16. Meanwhile, we are down to the final eight here in the eight ball. And they're going to bring you some views from around. There's Adrian Prasad from the USA. He just lost his match in the juniors just about uh, 45 minutes ago. Square hit again makes a ball, makes two balls, and the one and the 14 got tied up. Now, from the top view, it doesn't look like there's a combination. If there was a combination, I would probably shoot it right now. Might be able to. No. This is tough, really tough layout. Not sure if you're able to run. Well, there's always a way you can get on the nine ball, like plenty of angle on the nine to open up the 14, but then still, what would be your opening shot here? Like he only has the, a long nine. I wanna have stripes, but it's only the nine that's available. I don't think that blue stripe 10 goes in the side. And then you've also got that uh, 14 ball that's tied up with the one. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't think that he ball had that. Squeezed through. He had to use the side of the side pocket to get it in. Had yeah. to almost hit the point. Yeah, so now we'll have to run into the one. I feel, can he go over the short rail into the one or does he have to go directly into it? Has to work out because the odds are there that he might not get the 12 as a backup. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Hit that absolutely perfect. He went at a, about a quarter inch of the ball to hit it, to open that up and hit it perfect. Absolutely perfect. Such accuracy. Yes, yeah, so and now center of the table probably. Nice angle on the 12. Yeah, that was key shot. Actually, I think the f the, his first opening shot was that one even the better than the, the opening the cluster because without that shot, he would not have been out. Wow. Impressive, impressive start to this quarterfinal. At the end of the game, I'll read off the eight gentlemen still left in this world 10 ball, eight, eight ball, excuse me. We've been calling 10 ball, we've been calling nine ball <laughs> for the last week here. And he gives us a second break and run. 
playing absolutely perfect. Beautiful shots. Two in that rack. Well, we have Josh Filler and Chang Jong Lin. And then we have Kun Lin Wu versus Bader Alawaldi. That's actually at three to one, and uh, Kun Lin is ahead. Conrad Yushushin, who's been pretty hot lately. He's been doing some pretty outstanding stuff. Conrad Yushushin and Jui An Hsu. Uh, Hsu up 2-0. And then Marco Tucher and Alex Kazakis. Marco leading 1-0 as things just got underway here in New Zealand. We are in Hamilton at the Cloudlands event. Joshua, to get where he's at, went through Torsten Holman, 8-3, Roman Heibler, 8-4, Daniel Gutenberger, 8-2, and then in the final 16, defeated Roman Heibler, 10-4. Funny side note is that Badr Alawadi is playing Wukulin in the in the quarterfinals, but they have played before this week in the winner's qualification round. So imagine the draw, you know. It's, it's not yeah, always back. easy to play the same guy within the same week. And game number three. If he's as, as successful as the first two racks, uh, Chang Zhong Lin is not going to be a happy camper. Both pre uh, players are sponsored by Predator. Uh, Joshua is shooting with a Pantera 7.2. And uh, Chang has done some work on his skews, we noticed just a little bit ago. Yeah, it looked it, like it he looked was playing with his PK rush and he was breaking with his playing cue in, while practicing. So, yeah. yeah, and taking weights out. Are the shafts uh, interchangeable? Well, if both are unilock, okay. then you could. So I don't know what, sh what pin he's playing. I would assume both the uni lock so but then again look at his break from filler yeah square in the face good energy makes two balls and now this time the solids are laying really nice if he can get straight on the five straight on the seven to follow forward on the two see so he has a good mix of playing taking a little bit more time when it's messy and now he you actually see that he only checks the angle well Josh did a great job on this uh, to start things off the opening match was Josh filler and Torsten Holman um, and Josh had four break and runs in that race to eight he's about to have three in a row right from the start what a better way. There isn't a better way to start a tournament. Oh, and there's also not a better way than to start like this in your quarterfinal match, I would say. That's <laughs> um, Nope. This is the ideal. This is the way we all dream of playing pool. Three, Three break and runs consecutive. But the only thing you get around... Uh, around uh, Nine ball and ten ball is if you foul three times consecutively, it's a loss. Instead, Joshua says, I'll win three consecutive games. And uh, let my opponent take a nap in the chair. Well, I mentioned earlier this week is before years back, Joshua would have never broken the balls like this. Like he used to control the, the cue ball a little bit more. But you can really see that he has found a way to put more energy into it. And he's still controlling the cue really well. So For your viewing pleasure, folks, there's Adrian Prasad on the right there. And then the, I forgot his the young American kid. Eddie Ivonero. Eddie, okay. There you got it. Thank you. And then top left, you have Pia Filler, wifey. Right behind him, yeah. Wifey of Joshua Filler. Yeah, we've seen a big crowd yesterday for Marco Teutcher, who beat Albin Ushan in the last 16. 
currently most of that crowd moved over to the other table where Marco is playing Alex Kazakis. He's and got a nice following here. Yeah, now, quite leads, some locals. now leads to zero. Yeah. Go Dutchie. <laughs> yeah, a little uh, biased over here. He, uh, he stay, yeah. He's staying at his house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, can't, I cannot tell him, hey, man, can I stay at your place? But I hope you lose twice. Like, <laughs> uh, that's not going to work. Okay. Our referee from China, Yusin Shao. So, fourth rack. Rack number four, as Tim just mentioned. Again, square hit. This time. There goes the last. No, it was not quite by the wow. two ball there. So many balls getting close. And now we see the Chinese Taipei player, 10 year holder of this title for this, this uh, tournament. He won in 2012 and they didn't hold the tournament till 2022. And he was the defending champion for 10 years. I don't know of anyone that's had, held the title that long. Yeah, just wondering, are they using a shot clock on the outside tables too? I believe so, quarterfinal, uh, right? I, I have seen the refs out there with a the shot clock, yes. But which, I I think is a, which I think is a good thing. I don't know if they're using the shot clock unless it's just called to be put. Well, we can see um, Freddy over there. He's got a shot clock in his hand. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yes. No, just I, I think... Especially towards the end of the tournament, yeah. it's very fair that all the matches get the shot clock. Yeah. Well, in that because case... Because some players, they like to not play with the shot clock, and if they don't get to the stream table, they have advantage now. Well, in answer to your question, Freddy is using the shot clock. Okay, so... With Wuku Lin and Bader Alawaldi. Such Alawadi. a... Such a nice pattern also here. The only thing that you could imagine going wrong is if he doesn't get on the, like straight on the six to get to that four ball, but can go two, five, get in between the six, 11. And then being straight on the six, you play a stop shot, stun off the reel from the four to the eight and Do you like putting the chalk in your pocket? Well, I used to play snooker and it's very common. So mm -hmm. I don't mind if I, like, if someone would make me do it, I wouldn't mind to do it, but I, I think it's just do something that fits in your routine. Mm -hmm. I've actually gotten used to playing with a little magnet on the back pocket and out of the way. And I kind of like that. But I don't like putting it in my pocket to get your hand all full of chalk. Oh, he ran a little bit further on the six. It was quite thin, so he had to take a longer four. Couldn't go two rails back. Currently, Kun Lin Wu, 5 1, with Bado Alawadi. Yes. And Marco Teutcher, 3 0, with Alex Gizakis. Big early scores. Most of the matches are just like this match, but this is looking to be a 3 1. Just the same, Paul. Oh, that's, that's going to slide. And Chang Zhong Lin. Runs eight balls off of Joshua Filler's dry break. So, so far we have a perfect match. Josh, except for the break on that one. Josh went broke dry. Yeah, let's see if Chen can reverse it. 
do the same thing on Joshua. Yeah, Chang Jong Lin's playing batting a thousand, and that dry bit break cost Joshua forty points, or he'd be at a thousand. Yeah, well, statistically, based on, well, he's made twenty six balls. Mm -hmm. I think that would be quite fair. Matt Edwards mm. and girlfriend. I've not met the couple on the left of them. I've seen them here every day almost. Hopefully they're a couple. <laughs> you never know what I just, uh, what I pushed them into. Yes. <laughs> Some guy across the world is going to say, hey, that's my wife. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay, fifth rack. Chang breaking. I know for a fact that he's a big breaker. He likes to yes. put his whole heart and soul into it. Oh, almost scratched. Still oh. trying. Yeah, he really does not want to leave the side pocket alone. But made two balls on the break. And I believe... Both solids. The two balls he made. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, stripes looking great. 10 and go from the 11 to the 13, 12, 15, 14, 9, 8. Or does he take the solids? Just his opening shot. Yeah, for the, the opening shot is either the four tricky. ball or the two ball, or even the five. But and if you take stripes, you open up the eight. If you take the solids, you still got to do something on the eight. And that's a big thing for me. And just running that extra two balls is no big deal as you have that line of balls up on the top of the table and the two down here are the next two shots he's going to make. Yeah, He might leave the nine ball. Yeah, yeah I think he will. I, well, the only thing is not, it's tough to get the cue ball out. But so I would like to play to the left, get on the 13 or the 12. Oh. He's in trouble. No, he's going to have to shoot well, the 9. Or it's also the 12 does go, so he could go 12, 13, 14, 15, for example. He looks quite straight on the 9 as well, so I don't like it that much. It looks like the 13 goes too, I'm not sure. Well, let's say like this, he's not in an ideal position. There you go. That's so not a good not way to nothing put it, yeah. there's nothing wrong like he he can still manage to get out from here but the odds definitely went lower a little bit. I'm going to have to remember to use that. I'm going to say Tim says that's not the ideal <laughs> position. Didn't have to leave the nine ball in the bottom side of the table but just was leaving it there to get nice on the 8. Well, that I was a good backup, I guess. I got a feeling he'll play this 13, come across for the three balls up on top there. A little bit of left on this to avoid the five coming across. Oh, watch out, the cue ball behind the four. No. Oh, you that get excited too easy. Tim. Well, that, that just put the brakes on it. <laughs> Don't put that on me. That's called kill English. Oh, he put some special spin on that. That's right. I need lessons. I'll have him give you some. <laughs> well, he already, he already uh, beat me quite bad before, so I don't... Uh, yeah, but you weren't watching, probably. You were just sulking in your chair. Well, this looks like these two balls in shape on the eight. It looks like he's perfect to just draw this ball straight back with a little English, little right low, spin off to the left off the rail, and he'll be on the eight. Let's see how he plays this. I can't tell what kind of an angle. He's pretty close to straight in. Um, he might go forward here. Nope, he's coming back with the right low. Off the rail and over. Well, 
You don't mind shooting this too much, but you'd rather be a little closer and a little yeah. bit more to the right. Yeah, well, the pressure's not that crazy on right now, so for now you would say he's okay. Yeah, there it is. And But when the pressure is on, you'd really try to avoid those, mm -hmm. those big cuts. Well, Chang has broken around a rack of his own to get things started. His first break, his first break and run. Yeah, got in trouble a little bit there, but he's, he's so solid too. Like, just also mental game when he gets a little bit tough. He usually still gets it done. Like, yeah. he, oh, the yeah. shot making is very strong. Well, if you call that getting on that eight ball the way he did trouble. Well, I meant earlier. earlier when he yeah, got, yeah, earlier on that 12 and uh, yes. No, you got to take the eight from there. I mean, that's for sure. So, scores are very interesting at the moment. I see Kunlin Wu, 6-1 now with Badr Alawadi. Well, guys, it took uh, Josh 14 minutes to run three racks. Where he can run three racks, it took Chang 10 minutes to run two racks. So we're on a pretty fast-paced uh, match here, and both players walking right through with a nice rhythm. Okay, so now let's see if that cue ball gets close to the side pocket again, because that was quite tricky the last break. Yeah, there you go. Right in the face. But Did no he make ball. one? No. Broke him absolutely perfect. There's the game of eight ball for you. Yeah. Wow. You hit it, you smack it as good as it can be, and you come up dry. Yeah, so one four, and get to the seven. You need to take the seven out to make the six go in the top left. Tim, you're a pro player. Which do you consider the harder break as far as control and energy that it takes to hit it? The eight ball, the 10 ball, or the nine ball? The nine ball, I think, is the most stroke. Yeah, like like in most of the games, depending though, and like if if you would say all hand drag, all or hand all drag, all hand drag, let's call it all hand I, drag. I would say that's fair. That's with, very a, good point. with a decent hit on the nine ball, you usually can still make good balls. Sure. Like you don't have to smack them just like an eight ball. Now ten ball, I would I would I would probably go like I would grade it from nine, ten, eight. I would say because. In eight ball, there's more balls. You gotta need to make yeah. sure everything moves, but you still don't want to lose a cue ball. Or in ten ball, you don't have to smack the break, but still you need to like, hit it square. And I think you could break more technical with ten ball. With eight ball, like I have seen players here, well, they <laughs> there's no technique in that no more. Like they're just whacking them. Well, there's technique to it. I, I truly believe it's, it takes a real good stroke and great square contact, as you just mentioned, uh, and, and making a ball. And those two balls behind the the head ball usually will track to the sides. Yeah, it also depends on the rack, of course, a little bit. But I think the combination of having to put that much power and energy into the ball and controlling the cue ball So let's see now, probably he's gonna shoot the five and get to the left side of the six, to play the six in the side, and then he can travel two rails from the seven to the eight in the side. Oh, he chose to bump it. Well, which has worked, I believe, if he plays a stop shot on the seven. Sure. He's got, well. He's dead line for the six and then the eight. Yeah, don't, don't think he'll play a stop shot. Probably cheat the pocket a bit and stun the cue ball over to the right. The six really popped out nice. Did he leave himself? Oh, the eight goes to yeah, the bottom the right. Goes, yeah, well. exactly. Yeah, I, That's why I, just I thought it was blocked. Shots. I don't know really why. Bad call.
small side note to your break question. I do think all games have something special in particular. So all breaks can be just as tough. Like for, for nine ball, you could be saying you want to have more shape on the one. But for ten ball could be more tricky to get on that one. Like mm -hmm. every every break has something that could be tricky or in eight ball is you can hit them as good as you want and not make a ball. Like it's yeah. that's part of it too. So I think all of them have something that is just as tough or just as easy. Like there's pros and cons everywhere. Well, for around the room, the three other matches going on for the quarterfinals, you have uh, Kunlin Wu, 6-2 over Bader Alawaldi. Conrad Yushushin trailing 4-1 to to Jui An Hsu, or Ryan Hsu. Ryan Jui An, excuse me. And Mr. Tucher is 4-0 over Alex Kazakis. And at the table, probably about to make it 5 as I look over and see him there. No, still at the table. Well, we've had a change of control at the table and Josh Filler is in control right now with a four to two lead. And this is a very, <laughs> Well, this is an extremely high quality match. We've seen no one's missed the ball yet. The uh, only thing has happened is the dry break from both players, and both players were rather adept at running off the eight balls and getting a win off the dry break. Four to two, four break and runs. Uh oh. Oh, thank oh. you, two ball. It didn't matter. It's still going to stay. Wow, I thought that was going <laughs> to fall in. I thought that was just going to hang there and fall. Didn't it look like it just kept moving? I do feel that he put a little bit less into that. Like, this was more like he what? used to break, like a little softer before he was whacking him. Mm -hmm. But well, you mentioned that uh, Monday when we, when, we, when, when we started things, you mentioned Monday about the way he's breaking now compared to what he used to break. And... Um, and we saw it there, and we're seeing it here. And the power that he was using and how square he was hitting the balls. But Chang really only opening shot that he has, if he's in, yeah, he's inside where he can't shoot the ball on the rail, so he's got to play this nine ball to the side pocket. Well, he does like the stripes also. Well, then he's happy with this. Not ecstatic. But no, no. <laughs> he's at the table. He's happy. We've seen him jumping and dancing before, but it, we're not getting to that I, point I, yet. Well, was that the world teams? Yeah. That he did that? Yeah, that was funny when he started dancing. Yeah, that was so awesome. <laughs> oh, okay. So apparently he does have the 11, the 11 still. Ball. Joshua watching intently. Oh, well. And he just created a, a tough ball to get to. He just placed a stripe green ball, unless it goes to the side. Yeah, if, if it goes, it really worked out. If it yeah. doesn't, it will be a tough rack. Uh, so here it got very close to scratch. Oh, I think it goes. It does. He's playing it. So apparently Marco is on a five-pack right now in the match. Yeah of mine just texted me that. He must be feeling good. Okay, so 14 just did go. <laughs> he should stop playing more often. Yeah, just just stop queuing. Well, you know, sometimes when you stop playing uh, and you come back refreshed and you'll play real well. Yesterday we were having dinner and he goes, uh, you know, should I maybe just like not go to work tomorrow, you know, and prepare for the match? And he goes, no, no, that would be stupid. I've been working every day before my match. I should stick with the same. <laughs> so he still went to work at like 8 in the morning. Okay. Yeah, just. 
Actually, that's that's a good strategy. Just don't break your routine. Yeah. Um, what is it? Um, Uh, the book on tennis that uh, relates to pool. I can't think of it. But it's basically training your muscles to do everything naturally and keeping the mind out of it. Sounds interesting, yeah. Oh. The five-pack was the limit. He had a dry break after. Now let's go back to this match. Yeah. And again, if he's able to execute these last two stripes in that eight ball, uh, it'll be a run out from the opponent's break. Well, you would favor him from here, definitely. Oh, sure. Because he can, he's got plenty of room next to the two ball. And the perfect angle. Run into the rail. Uh oh, uh -oh. Whoa, uh -oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. oh my. What has he done? Uh, not a good thing. Yeah, he, he tapped his head like, Idiot. Kind of like, you know like a brain fart or yeah. something. Like, yeah. Because he had plenty of room. Nothing he didn't to worry about. He, he could have just stayed close to the rail and had a decent shot. Wow. Why well, is he called a corner? Yeah, he's going to try to kick it in. Wouldn't it be something to have him kick this ball in? But he didn't even hit it. Well, let's give him filler ball in hand. Wide open table. Not 4-3, wow. chance for 5-2. The first error of the game was the positional error resulting in a scratch. Big, big error when your opponent's playing like Joshua is. Well, in general, it yeah, doesn't matter general, who you yeah. play in this matter, yeah. you really would not have expected him to... Hook himself behind that four. So one, five, seven, six, eight. I kind of feel bad for him. Because I know how he's feeling when you when you when, when you do that. You get behind the ball and it's just such a horrible gut-wrenching feeling. Well, well it's and also because it, was, because it was so obvious. Yeah, that, that's, that's even worse. Like, no, look, when you don't expect it, you go, oh, oops. But this time it's like, yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, this is straight on the eighth, 5-2. Well. There's the, there's the miscue. There are the mistake, not a miscue. Oh, it's a miscue. Wow, that's a big mistake. It is a race to ten, and Joshua is halfway there. At five to two, three break and runs and two runouts off of Chang's. Dry break and glaring error. Yeah, along with this Yalin World Able Championship, we have the Messe World Women Nine Ball Championships and the World Junior Championships. So, nice mix of a lot of local players, but also Juniors watching the pros. A lot of signatures everywhere. Oh, yeah. They're loving it, yeah. yeah. It's good to see. I think that's what Paul deserves, and especially the players. Well, it's just... Um, we could have used a little... Actually, we could have used a lot more CD. Oi. Oh, there goes another one and another one. And this one could hurt because he's also made a ball on the break. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, this is tricky. Oops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> everybody was watching that, I'm sure. Uh, well, if it moves, she just puts it back. <laughs> yeah, but 
You know how it goes nowadays. It's a world championship. You have to be perfect. I understand. And there's a replay of how hard it is sometimes to get a ball out of the hole. That'll yeah, probably make the highlight reel. <laughs> Well, this is what uh, Chang needs, needed there. It was looking pretty dreary for him. It's going to open up the one right away. Oh, oh another, he needs another bump. I think he got enough, but can he get the cue ball off the rail? The worst thing is... There's a two ball way what, up on top. Yeah, there. I was going to say, like, he can play a stop shot and take a long two, but sure. I don't. Feel practice strokes. I and don't feel like he can get the cue off the rail. I've seen him do that before, and every time I've seen him do that, I sit there and say, "That's actually something clever. to do." It's very clever because yeah. so you don't go forward on the stroke. You want to move your hand way up in the grip, but he's he's in the same place. One of the keys to shooting a ball real, real soft, like from the back rail to the spot is you shorten up your stroke so you can't go forward. And you're able to, to hit it just three or four feet. Yeah, and, it's a clever thing and, to and do. And it's a clever thing to do to take that practice stroke. It's like a golf swing, you know, you take a practice golf swing, why not practice a uh, stroke to, to hit that? Again, behind the ball. Again behind the ball, he's in trouble again. Wow. If that ball is froze, you may as well spin it in. Or can you see any, any way to play safe off that ball on top of the rail there? Well, I, I think I would try to stay away from the three. It looks so close to the rail. Not frozen, but cl well, he, well, he might. He I think he's going at it. He doesn't have a shot. Maybe he's going to try to get behind the two. But he I, is going I'm spinning at it. it. I'm spinning this ball just like oh, that. Oh, look at this. What? A, don't roll up. Oh. Oh. Well, there is a little bit of good news. The cue ball's on the rail. And I think he's left Joshua really tough. He might get back to the table, Chang. What a Look great shot he makes here. Watch, he watch this. this three ball. He doesn't hit it clean. You see how it bounced off the rail right away? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was just, just a little, a little bit, little but out, it was yeah. so close. Great shot. I mean, I know it's very attacking, but I have to shoot the 10. Because well, if you make it, you're out. And where else are you going to play safe? Well, that's exactly what He can shoot the 12. Uh, the 10. He can also shoot the 12. With a cue ball on the rail? With the cue well, you don't have a choice. Oof, the the yeah. 10 is the higher percentage shot, but how are you going to get the, 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 the cue ball? Well, you come across for the 14. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, see, yeah. I hadn't seen the 14. The thing is, I just don't feel any safeties or no. like, like with the three over the corner, Chang might kick it in. I'd like to take my chances. Well, take and that he chance. did too. Wow. Oh, wow. Did that 13 come back and freeze up on it, or did he have the 14? If he has the 14, you m he's a sicko sometimes. He just, he made that look easy. Well, it is. You just hit it in the right spot. Oh, that's it? That's it. That's all I've it been takes. doing it wrong for 14 I years. I used to have a friend all the time that I played with many, many, many years ago. Um, and I'd, I'd sit there and say, how did I miss that ball? He goes, you hit it in the wrong spot. Thanks, Captain Obvious. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this young man certainly hits them in the right spot quite often. Like that one there. And now it's two glaring errors getting behind a positional ball. Yeah, I need some angle. On the 9 to the side to stun over for the 13. Got it. Imagine it's now two mistakes from Chang. Mm -hmm. Basically, the score could have been 3 each, 4 each. And and both of them pretty glaring. Yeah. Yeah, he was in yeah. good position, both. And yep. Two balls remaining for 6-2. 
And Josh, with the exception of two dry breaks, has not missed a ball. Well, he did scratch one of those breaks, which is usually even, okay. even worse. And a smart timeout by Chang Zhong Lin. Well, especially with how big he breaks the balls, four games is really okay to overcome. Because when he gets the break going, like he, he might run three or four and be even. So I wouldn't be too surprised. I like how he's killing the momentum here. And when he comes back, hopefully he can put it back on. Yeah. Well, the one good thing is that one mistake only cost him two games, and he had to make another mistake to lose the third game. There's some stats for you. The overall performance, Josh at a 941. And Chang not doing bad, but those two glares uh, really killed him. Missed shots, one. Fouls, one. Josh has the one scratch on the break. Balls pocketed. And that's why they're four games apart. I don't think we've had a safety play. Nope. Well, the other tables are quite interesting too. If you look at Kun Lin Wu, oh, he's up 6-4 with Badr al Awadi, which was 6-1. 6-1, so yeah. So slowly um, coming back, Badr. Then Konrad Jusissin is trailing 3-5 to Yuan Su, or Ryan Su, apparently. And then Marco Teutsch is still up 5-1 and at the table against... Alex Kazakis. The ladies in this nine ball tournament that we're having. I got to get to the little, my cheat sheet. And we are down to, Christina won her match, so we're down to the quarterfinals that will be starting pretty soon here. We, oh my. Here we are in the final stage. Here we go with the quarterfinals. Their matchups will be Kelly Fisher versus Semin Chen, Chihiro Kawahara versus Jasmine Ocean, Rubulin Amit versus Weiwei, Liu Shasha versus Christina Tikach. Quite some. T Christina must have come back. She was down quite a bit to uh, Margaret Fefalova, Steyer. So she came back and won that match. Three sets to two. Oh, I believe it was Darren Appleton who put a post on Facebook saying that he looked at just all the fields we're having this week and he said like that it has been the strongest in years. Yes, he did. He said there was just so much talent in this room and he's right. Okay, we haven't seen Lu Sha Sha in any, tra I've never seen her, I haven't seen her in tournaments ever. A 792 Fargo, which equals seeming Chin 792 Fargo. Um, Rublin Amit, Cheska, who else do we have here? Weiwei's playing great. Of course, um, Cho, who was out of the tournament. She was put out by um, Rublin yep. right here on this table. Uh, it was here, defending champion, uh, nine-ball champion, ten-ball champion, uh, on and on. Quite, It's quite the feel for the women. Jasmine is back. Jasmine, Jasmine is Sean. back and in good form. Here she is in the quarterfinal. Yep. Uh, Kelly Fisher, Allison Fisher was here. Chen Siming, uh, of course. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I feel overall in all the fields, like, the standard has been real high. Yeah, Seo Seo was here. Uh, Christina Zaldeva. Let's see. Bean Hung was here. 
Uh, Soledad Ayala from uh, Argentina. Good player. Wei Wei is here. Olivia Celeska. What world beater am I missing? Too many, probably. Yeah, you haven't see. started the junior field. <laughs> oh, the juniors? We got some. We got some talent here today. Centeno, Cheska. Uh, Silviana Lu. And coming into the arena, Junlin Chang. Chang Junlin. Yeah, so no. definitely made sure to put a filler in his seat for a bit. He'll be breaking. Let's see if he can still get a ball on the break. Six to two. Breaking game number nine. Well, square hit. The 11 flying into the corner. And I believe if, if that 14 goes in the side, he might shoot it now. Then it's wide open. 14, 15, 13, 12, 9, 10, 8. This is a really nice layout. <coughs> and that's the thing too with eight ball, like sometimes they just dress up so nicely after the break. Oh yeah. He d How long did he take to check out the pattern after the break? Maybe 10 seconds. He instantly well, knew he was open. He, he kind of figured the hardest shot he had was laying in front of the pocket behind the five ball. <laughs> yeah, imagine. The hardest shot yeah. he has, yeah. And every ball leads to the other. Yeah, it would have been nice to be on the 9 now and get 12 in the side, 10 in the side, 8. I'd go ahead and play the 12 first, the 10, the ball out of the side and come around. Yeah, just it yeah. would be a little less traveling. It's, I mean, this is the things we are complaining about, right? Like he's I'm wide open. No, but like this is the only thing we could say because besides that, it's so, so wide open. Yeah, well, he's playing the last ball to the side pocket. He yeah. better get a nice angle on this. He has. Yeah, he's perfect. Oh, yeah. Could go forward for the bottom right, could draw back for the bottom left. He can do whatever he likes to do. He's going to stun and forward just a hair. One last minute check to make sure everything was in order. Yeah, 7-2 in the making. This 8-ball. Or should I say this straight-in 8-ball? Well, uh, it's a little angle. <laughs> uh, picky, picky, uh, picky. Nah, it's, I mean, he played pinpoint shape, all rack. 7-2, beautiful breaker run. Not more you can say to it. No. And don't forget, Chang has had more opportunities he's missed two of them otherwise his match could have been closer could have been 5-4 five, 5-5 five, five. he could still be running racks also true yeah but that's how championships are won and that's how championships are lost unfortunately somebody has to lose in a match like this and those errors or what causes it. And coming up to the table while she finishes racking the balls off, I won't bother with this. There's a sponsor. Right on the board there, Yalin, table yeah. manufacturer. They have, I think it's two plants, huge, 80,000 and 100,000 square foot plants. No, square meter plants. Wow. That's bigger than that's bigger. square square. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot bigger. Uh, they manufacture pool tables. 
Oh, square hit this time. Seven ball. No. Dry break. Okay, so for solids we got the three and the six. A little bit tied up, still they do go to some pockets. For stripes we do have the nine and the ten, which is fine with where the f 12 balls is, so he could open it up. If you get decent from the four to the five, you can play the three or the six ball in the right side pocket, so both sides are decent to solve. Well, he better be productive. The minimum number of racks Josh has run, or excuse me, Josh has been able to win off of his errors was one. But the first time was, well, two and one in the break and run. So uh, Josh has made him pay for his mistakes. Yeah. Was the point I was going to make. So now trying to get straight on the five would be ideal, or close to straight on the five to get to the three and the six. We'll always have the four ball, of course, but needs to get to the three and the six as soon as possible. So maybe he can play the four and get straighter on the five, or he could go to the right side of the three and the six, play the three in the bottom right, uh, bottom left corner, excuse me. One rail, two rails. If he stops this dead, he has a perfect angle to come up. Oh, and actually, he wants to get straight in, so he can play it to the side and then to the corner. Yeah, see, now he's going to have to come up for I the think balls in the same corner. Yeah, yeah, I think bottom yeah. left. Had he gotten straight in on the five, he could stop the five, play the three, the six, and there's the eight. Fortunately for Chang, there's no ball he can get behind over there. Sorry, but I had to throw that one in. Poor Chang. <laughs> oh, ran a little bit further. Yes, on he this did. Three ball. Nice and you can see him scratching his head. He right. can still draw for six bottom right. Uh, uh, top right, jeez. Yeah, he's scratching his head because he could have got straight in on the five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, top right for the six ball it's would work, I think. You know what's kind of funny, Tim, is the tunnel vision you get sometimes when you're playing. You saw yourself playing position to that side of those two balls, and he never checked to think about shooting the three to the side. Because the first, when I first looked at it, I looked at the, the ball to where it's at now. And then I looked at, wait a minute, if he just kind of moves over, he can get to the three. Oh. This is a little toughy. No, no, never nah, mind. He got perfect. Nice angle to play the eight in the side, right side pocket. So just got to focus on the shot itself, which he's going to play pocket speed. So plays quite big, top right corner. And he runs eight balls off of Josh's dry break for the second time. Both players playing at a very high level. Erase those mistakes. And these guys are playing jam up. But neither one of them are. Wait a minute, Josh is. Josh has his own clothing line from Jam Up, doesn't he? Don't think so. No, it's Fetter. Fetter has his own clothing. Yeah, line. Fetter yeah. for sure. Yep. It's not Joshua. This tournament is being played on Predator. 
Apex 9 foot tables, Predator Arcadia cloth, Predator Arcos 2 balls, Predator arrow rack, even the Predator bridge, and there's also Predator pure chalk. And of course, cues and cases. Both players are sponsored by Predator. Both playing, he's playing with the P3 Gray. Well, currently breaking with his P3 Gray, but. Oh, well, he changed, yeah. he, I, I believe he changed the shafts, yeah. And um, Josh, of course, is playing with the Pantera 7.2. Nice square hit, a bunch of movement, makes two balls. Yeah, two balls it is. And choice of opening shots. Can go to either set easily. Yeah, only thing I would have with this, I would like to get to the nine ball as soon as possible. So in between the two and the five, center of the table is fine, quite a big area. Doesn't want to hook himself behind the ball. Oh. All right, we nailed him twice for that. No, I was going to say if he gets behind the two, yeah, for I example, like under hits it, he might not get on the nine. He might be. Yeah, that's why he might have to shoot the ten. I would love to take the nine first and then use the ten to go to the bottom side. Still, though, if he uses the ten, he can go along wow. the right long reel. He would rather be shooting the nine ball here than his ten ball. Oh. He's still Doesn't matter, okay to draw over the right side of the table, but just surprising. I think he was trying to get on the nine. Yeah, I do too. Now he's got to come around the seven on either side, and he's okay for the 11. That's perfect. That's yeah. Uh, 11, 13, 12, 8. Could be three stop shots and a mini cut on the eight. That was the key shot. Now the rest of this is uh, connect the dots. As he walks around the table, he's probably thinking to himself, why didn't I do that in the last two racks that I lost? Yeah, be yeah. especially <laughs> exactly with how close this match could have been, mm -hmm. really. Well, it's still close. He's not, he's not completely away with it. Seven to... Seven to three, about to be seven to four. But he's breaking. And if he breaks like that again, we'll be looking at seven, five in a heartbeat. Yeah, I mean, obviously he didn't really give up in his match. Huh, but that man right there? No, he just never. That man has <laughs> no give up. No, but I'm more saying, I think he would have liked to be closer, obviously. Especially with what kind of mistakes they were. That's the, that's the worst thing. Like, if he missed two tough shots, he could have said, well, I mean, that happens once in a while, okay, but. Yes, those mistakes were elementary, my dear Watson. Thanks, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nine. I gotta get 13. a hat to 933, so Chang catching up. Break success higher for Chang at the moment. But of course, you gotta take into account he has broken the balls yeah. less, so. His overall performance has come up quite a bit yeah. too. Yeah. Only still the one miss. Agio Lion, what is that uh, he's got on his case there? Okay, so 12th rack. Looking to put a big one on this. He might be, does he have extension on this queue? That's why I'm wondering, like I'm wondering why he's breaking with his playing queue. He put a brake shaft on there, but why would he be using... He does not have extension on this queue, so... Must be the balance or something that he... Feels it better. Made the four-railer. Beautiful brake. Made a, made a stripe. 
and that's all he made one stripe so he's got an 11 ball right next to the cue ball blocked by the seven so will he take solids because of that that's the only ball that's blocked if the six ball goes to either pocket it's his uh, it's the only the only problem he has well still he needs to take out the four in order to be able to make the two ball as well on the top side. But can't he shoot the he fifty, can. the 11 ball into yeah. the seven to make it? And you just go from there, take solids. But would love to play the combo and have the 11 move over so it opens the pocket for the six. Yeah. Always sneaking ahead. like he'll be going could play a little draw into the two move it over it's guaranteed to be on the four or the one ball yeah, before I played that I think I'd play the four ball by itself and get on the two but he, he can exactly he can just miss it or just barely nudge it he could put it in the worst place yeah perfect oh put it in a great place yeah he was so guaranteed to be on the four or the one ball so Play that great. Now, like I said, the longer he waits with taking out the seven, the more awkward that six ball gets because you would love to shoot that to the bottom left, obviously. Uh, goes to the bottom right too, though. Well, I have to trust you on that. I'm not sure. Sure looks like it. He just looked at it. Doesn't look concerned. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be um, this four ball, the two ball, the ball by the orange ball by the side pocket. Position for the six in the right hand side, the seven and the eight. If I was shooting, I'd forget which ball to shoot right about now. You would be shooting the one instead of the probably. Two. <laughs> <laughs> All you got. Yeah, now he's a nice small angle to probably draw into the long left long rail and you know come in between the six and the seven. Let's see how he handles this. He's got a couple different ways. You can come back for the six for that corner pocket. Could go to a short rail. He could come all the way down to the bottom and then come up for the six for that pocket. And he's come this way. He's come not to a good place. As you said earlier, not ideal. Yeah, this is definitely the meaning of not ideal. Still has a cut on the six, sure. and I don't believe the cue ball will scratch in the corner as the 14 will catch it, but then again, you don't want to have that angle on the seven either. Oh, the hip. I believe the eight ball goes to this. Um, He's going to come by right. Oh, this is fine. He's fine. He's going to stun it up to the right of the 11 and come up for the 8 in the bottom corner. No? Side? I'm, well, the thing is, he's got quite some angle on the 7. So I think with stun, he will run into the 11. So he might go thin and go to the right side of the 8 and play the 8 in the side pocket. Yeah, run into the 11 and stop it. You're dead straight for the side. Nope, he went that way. The other side. I didn't call it. Mm -hmm. Me neither. <laughs> I'm on your side. He did. He did. I hope he did. <laughs> All right. After the safe ball, this has closed it up and made a match out of it now. Yeah, 7-5. Break and, and run. Each player now has, oops, no, 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 no. Joshua has four of them. Chang has three of them. Break and runs. And our other quarter finalist, Kun Lin Wu, is seven to five over Bader Arawaldi. Conrad Yashushin is now five to Yu Jui An Su seven. Marco Tucher seven two over Alex Kazakis. Savannah, Savannah Easton. Easton, Christina Zaldeva. 
successful junior, and uh, she was a is she a quarter finalist? I know she was in the final 16. Was she, she was playing? just playing. She was playing just a little bit ago. Let's see if I can let you know. No, she's not in the quarterfinal. She must have lost her uh, her fi uh, final 16. Oh, that's not going to be there. She lost to Lu Shasha, three sets to one. <coughs> Liu Shasha is in the quarterfinals versus Christina Tekach. Well, this time. There quite goes. some quite some cut on the break, lost the cue ball a bit, but uh, and again, he's made a ball. He's probably going to go well, either one looks good. The solids look better in the stripes because of the ball next to the four by the side pocket in the upper part of your screen. What do you think, Dan? This is interesting. Because I don't think the four does go in the side pocket still. But he can go one, five. Needs to get in between the five and the nine. And then three, six. Use the two to land in between the seven and the four. Play the four in the top left, seven in the bottom and get to the eight. It's easier said than done because the shape sure. in between is difficult by where the 11 and the 13 is. You just got to get to those, uh, those two balls, the four and the seven. The three and the six are play easy to get to. The four and the seven, not so much. Yeah. Yeah, there is a possibility for him to go actually stripes. Because if he goes 11, can shoot the 13 in the top left. I don't mind going stripes here, actually. He's the captain. Let's see how he sails his ship. Could leave himself straight on the six and draw into the four as well, but I don't think I would try to bother with it. He would just make more of a mess. I think he's better off. Yeah, he can shoot the four he off the three in the side. He's playing the seven ball now. He's going to play the four ball off the three. Oh. Oh. This is interesting. Yeah. Because if he gets straight on the three, six, four, eight. I like what he's done there. And he... He's creating a chance to make it 7-6. And for you folks at home, you can see that he's playing with his brake cue, but his brake shaft, his play shaft. And then we saw his uh, playing cue with his brake shaft on it. Yeah, P3 gray. Yeah. I wonder if he's trying to be like Shane with the white, the white and black <laughs> cue. Well, then he would have been putting a extension on the raking oh, cue. So. Yeah, there's that. Does the brake cue have? Uh, oh no, the P3 has it, not the the butt is interchangeable on the brake cue, isn't it? That little back plate. I for the BK rush, I don't think there's extensions. But I would, I could be wrong there. The one thing I'm quite sure about, though, is that he's got perfect shape on the 6. So he's got to be careful not to get behind the 14. Or touch either one. Oh, yeah. 
Referee is watching the fingers. Because Yusin Xiao is looking very carefully. Yeah, perfect on the eight, so seven, six uh -huh. in the making. And now both players have broken run three racks in succession in this match. And they all both have another break and run in addition to that. So they've broken ran four racks apiece. Out of, well, Josh has seven games and Chang now has six. This match got tight in a heartbeat, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, both play at a fast paced speed and yeah, I, f I also find it interesting how open the ranks have been. Like, it's not like there is no well, trouble. Like, they still got to figure it out. But it's not like there is clusters all over the place either. So Yeah, the guys are smashing the break, dude. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> and clearly it's working. And breaking in game number 14. This gentleman, several times in his career, has been considered one of the top three or four in the world. From Chinese Taipei, Chang Zhonglin. <coughs> Great break, look at this. Made the eight on the break. Made the, I was gonna say made the two as that got that little kiss, I thought it was gonna go in. Three balls on the break and the eight on the break, but it doesn't count. Yeah, has the option to either break again or take the rack from here. Well, he instantly said, no, 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 let me play from here because he's already happy to make a ball on the break. Yeah. Well, there's some problems with the stripes. As you can see, the two on the right side of your screen there in the lower right-hand corner. And even on the upper part of your screen, he can open up by playing the combo if he wants to take uh, solids. Yeah, I do like the solids. Just got to make sure oh, to look get at the angle, angle on the six. Yeah. yeah, look at the angle it gets on his six. Absolutely perfect to open up the one. And I love the way he just came to it immediately. Yeah, if he plays the six right now, bumps the 11, guaranteed to have the five, but he's waiting. Just wondering, maybe because he's close to the rail, so he's gonna try again, play the seven, then the four. Was it the four on top left? I yeah, would yeah. like to get that similar yeah. angle going. That's the, yeah, the top left is the purple four. Or is he looking at playing the one? The one might go. Then he doesn't have to bump the balls. Oh, he finds it a little bit awkward. He looked at it. Yes, he's. Yeah, there's no sense coming across for the. Is he playing this one ball? It looks awful yeah. tight. Oh, he might spin the ball. He might spin it in. 
Yeah. Well, it looks like he took care of business on this track, too. He's got three solids to go, but they are in prime location for uh, getting on the eight. Well, I've got to say, we could be going seven each. From being seven two down, I believe. He was 7-2 down. Now he's won four games in a row, about to make it five. Make sure he gets past that eight to get on the six. He, oh. made, he made sure. Yeah, right, it'll be too <laughs> high then. That's right. Tim, do you go to the left side of the eight or you just come straight up with a little bit of a, I don't a think check he, inside? I don't think he's got plenty of angle, so I might go top in this trace of left yeah mm -hmm. not too much because I no. still want to stay away but stay away from the 15 and a trace of left it is yeah seven each what a match what an so eight ball look at this position so many break runs as well gosh I could even make that yeah yeah <laughs> ball in hand shape for George that's right <laughs> that's what I need that's four breaking runs in a row. Now, almost all the matches got very close. If you look at Kunlin Wu with Badr Alawadi, it's 8 7. And then Conrad Jessisin and Ryan Juan. Ryan up 8 6. And then Teutcher Marco, the only player that has like a decent lead still. He's up 7-4 with Alex Kazakis. So, but you can see bo most of them had pretty big leads. And actually everything is getting Tighten up. Yeah, exactly. quite tight at the end. Look at this match. 7-2 to two and what are we now? 7 each. 7 apiece. Race is Chang to 10. Chang Jong Lin has 5 break and runs. 4 in a row. That's the highest I've seen anyone. 4 in a row. The 4 pack. It's been the highest we've seen. At the table here, yeah. No, on the stream table. I don't know what's going on out there. I just see the final scores out there. I haven't, I haven't seen any uh, of the matches out there because we've been right here, Tim. Well, imagine now we're seven each, and Chang has a break success of 83 percent. Breaking from dead center. Yeah, Fifteen. Let's rack. see if that eleven and the um, ten and the yeah is it ten or the fourteen? Ten. Okay, go to the side pockets from dead center. Yeah, that's what he would be trying yeah. to do. A lot depends on the rack, of course. If that cue ball comes straight back. Those two balls will head to the side pockets. Let's take a look. The 11 ball just bent, just missed, it was short. The 10 ball started going that way, just didn't have the energy. That wasn't quite a solid hit, it didn't, feel, it didn't sound as solid. It's, it was not the similar hit yeah. like he's been breaking before. And also if you look at the cue ball tracked directly past the side. Well, a change of control. He's given up the table. And Josh comes to the table and says, so you're saying there's a chance. Or yeah, he thrives on this in general, yes. too. I do like this solids here and start with the five to get on the seven. Oh, yeah. Right, bump the, f bump the 13 ball, the orange stripe 13. No. Chooses to go for the six. No, he took it off. I, everything else is a little bit awkward, and also the shape. If he, he bumps at 13. Yeah. Doesn't want to bump it in front of the pocket for the eight in case he has to go that way. He oh, just rather oh. not bump anything. Yeah, it's, it's even better. Guarantees angle, too. 
So now two six four one three eight. That's what I like to do. Get straight on the two. And then play the three at the end to the side pocket and get to the center of the table on the eight, I guess. Now leave the ball goes. Four in the side pocket after. Probably will float the cue ball a little bit forward to make sure he stays off the rail from the one to the three. Yep. Or he might play draw. No, he'll play slapper right there and just take oh. the five and the three. The one in the three? Is that the one? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It looks orange to me from here. <laughs> no, I was just looking for angle to stay off the rail. I don't think it matters at this point for this young man, but... Straight on the eight. Another perfect pattern. And another clearance from the opponent's dry break. Yeah. They have both... Um, been deadly there. Every time they broke dry, every time the opponent ran out. Yeah, 8 7. I think. Yeah, he's heading out for a little break because he knows there's a very important break coming up mm -hmm. for him. And Mr. Chang's going to sit there and say, I'll stay with you. Back oh, to some well, of those scores. Well, yeah. Yeah. Tied at eight, Kunlin Wu, Halawati, Conrad Yushushin, seven to eight. He's closed the gap. He was down by a bit. And Juyun, Juyun Hsu has eight, eight seven. Marco Tucher still is seven five over Alex Kazakis. Unless I refresh and that changes, let's take a look. Nope, just as I read them. Our sponsors, Yalin, Masse, Van Billiards, Kamui, Billiard TV, Little Monster, Predator. And these tournaments are sanctioned by WPA. We also have the Masse. Women's World Nine Ball Championship going on. We are down to the quarterfinals. The quarterfinals in the Women's Masse Tournament. Your contestants are Kelly Fisher versus Siming Chen. Chihiro Kawahara versus Jasmine Ocean. Rubilin Amit versus Tus, tu, tus Chen Wei or Wei 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 Wei. Liu Sha Sha versus Christina Tekach. And Josh is back into the arena, enters the arena. Grabs his cue and will be raking, breaking the balls. They do have the same break cue. Yeah, only one player plays with it and the <laughs> other one breaks with it. Maybe that's why he's doing He's trying he's to strike Josh to out. To the side. He's been breaking there from, oh wow. Oh, I see what he just did. I see what he did there. 
I'm not going to make it easy for you if I break dry to run out. And dry he broke. <coughs> yeah, Look still. at the mess he left. Yeah. Well, I'm lost here. As to what to do? Yeah. Well, you can take either stripes or solids. Oh, and okay. He's got a side pocket shot for either. He's got two up to the top. He's only got one stripe available to him as an sh opening shot. He's got three solids available to him as an opening shot. Four with a one. The one ball opens up everything. He's playing the one to open up the four and probably the deuce if he plays it with speed. Well, he's made didn't work. everything worse. He didn't work out very well. He didn't have enough of a solid hit on the ball he was going into. He thinned off of it and uh, avoided everything else. So now he's got the six ball he's got to do the same thing with after he makes one of the top two or the five. I guess he could come in. No, he can't. I feel the ten, the ten yeah, the ten does come into play. You might be okay. able to run into like just enough of the six and the eight. Like in between. But why would you want to do that? You're gonna push yeah. everything to the bottom. He might have to play safe. We haven't seen one this match. Yeah, okay, then no safeties, that's true. <laughs> I don't think they can spell safe. The, the, their way of thinking is the best defense is a great offense. Yeah, if it works, it works. Oh. Oop. Oh. oh, this is not going to be bueno. This is going to ruin the perfection stats. Yeah. Well, in the end, stats don't matter. Wins do. No rail. Oh. And that could be big trouble. He might shoot the... Well, it... Looks like Chang's strategy worked on the break. I mean, uh, Josh's strategy worked on the break. Is he going to play the combination and then play the 14 and bump the 12, 13 out with the 9 and the 10 most of the time available? No. No, he goes into it from the beginning. Wow. Just the right thought you had but just a different way I was just not sure how to get back on the 14 so I thought maybe the combination first yeah. but he will trawl back and then get from the 13 to the 14 everything's open now what's he going to the top side of the table first he's going to get the, he's going to get position on his 14 first and then come up to the top side of the table for the 3 up there probably shooting the 9 ball last He wants to be closer to the rail. He wants to be on the inside of the the ten ball, the perp, the blue stripe. Don't get behind the six. All stayed on the high side. Does have the 11, but we'll have to hold the cue ball. He's left-handed. This is suited for him.
looking to get on the hill with a strategic break and nice run out. Yes, straight on the eight. And there you have nine to seven. One game away from moving into a semifinal. Chang will have to settle. If he can't get back to the table and run some balls, he'll have to settle for the $11,000, fifth through eighth. Well, Pia there, praying to make a ball on the break. He might do the same thing. Oops, I read that money wrong. No, I didn't. It's a quarterfinal. Yeah. Fifth through eighth. Yeah. I thought I had it wrong. <laughs> Felix Vogel sitting next to Pia, Adrian Prasad. Savannah Easton, three of those junior. Pia, of course, was in the women's tournament, and I believe she made the final 16, but is now... Did she get the final 16, Pia? No. No, she just went out of it, right? She was playing Jasmine. Jasmine put her out? Yep. Yeah, I think so. Let's see what he is going to do on the break. He's now moving to the other long rail. Can his strategy work twice? Well, he Apparently. He also chooses to Cue ball. cut the break to make the head ball. Did make a ball? Yeah, but this time... The wreck is spread better. I'm not saying easy because it's still a tough one, but better. Well, 9-9 nine -nine between Kunlin Wu and Badr al -Awadi. Yeah. <laughs> Four ball is his ch shot, or will he play the 13 ball, that orange stripe by the side pocket? If he hits it a little fuller than he wants to, he could scratch off the 11 in the corner. Well, his call extension could have played a safety, maybe. Because I, I just don't really feel like, like starting to run this rack. He took an extension to play this. Like that extension could be very useful later on. Sure, especially with the mess of the 6-8-15 ball right there on the spot. They have three ball, three ball mess, as is the three and the ball next to it, which looks to be like the green stripe, the 14. The two, two ball behind the one. Yeah, the two and the five don't look all that good either. Because that's the thing, it, I like this, because if, uh, if Chang moves the one out of the way, the 10 goes, now I don't mind trying to go all in. I don't think he's going to move it, he's just going to barely, there, yeah, that's it. Yeah, but yep. you're trying to push someone to open it up, but now Joshua can shoot the one and stick the kill with the 10 and it will be open. Unless the 10 does go to the bottom right. <coughs> ball. 
It looks like the 10 ball goes to the bottom right because he's shooting it right past the purple stripe. Well, has made the 10. Is he going to play the 12? Run into the 3 ball to push the 14 out and possibly also run into the 6 at the same time. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, he can pocket the 15 in the side. It's his only shot for a safety. Well, his facial expression is not so great. Like, he might not have it. Well, the problem is if he pockets this ball, does he... Uh, it looks like he'll come off the 6 and open up the 14. He's running out of time. Yeah, I was playing safe. Did. Did get Look the safe. Look at this. How'd you do that? <laughs> oh, you see the Josh replay. Was, yeah. No, Josh was shaking his head, scratching his head. How'd you do that? This is a tough position. I might kick at the one and try to push the cue ball up table. Like if you, anything on the top short rail is quite decent, I would say at this point. has worked as well has only left the nine ball and he's bridging over the two long shot good jump the seven for the ball by the side because of the bridging over the two ball missed it what is the nine ball gonna do is it gonna interfere with the two I yes. think it has wow yes that is quite some roll yeah hung that nine ball Standing room only around this arena. Yeah, did decide to lock up the nine. Has left angle on the 11 to possibly open up the nine. But the 14 might be tricky, tricky to the bottom left corner as well. So Chang now has two misses and Josh has yet to miss a ball. And he did get on that nine ball. And it looks like it's in his hands now. Oops, excuse me. Sorry about that. It's okay, I know you got excited. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I slapped my microphone. <laughs> well, still, that 14, I, I don't believe the 14 goes to the bottom left. If it does go, then 14, 15, 13, 8. If it doesn't go, he's going to have to do something with it. Must go. He's playing it now. He's going to come back for the 13 in the side. 
Well, the interesting thing is that the bottom right corner is now blocked for the eight. Well, then oh. it's going to be a side pocket eight ball. He, by accident, hit the referee with the bridge. Obviously was not trying to do that. Then I guess you better move. <laughs> He's going to come down underneath this eight, or does it go to the corner? The way he's looking at it, it goes to the corner. By the, right past the three. Let's go by. Yeah, and nine eight. Goes. Well, what a treat. Full house, and they're getting a treat. We're getting a treat here, and so are you at home. Great eight ball match. Kun Lin Wu has defeated Vader Alawadi. Alawad He. Conrad Yushushin has lost to Jui An Su. And Marco Tucher leads Alex Kazaki's 8 to 7. And in this match here we have Jun Ling Chang about to break to try to tie things up. If he breaks like he has been. He had four break and runs in a row. The history of this game was Josh won the lag, broke and ran three racks, broke dry, and Chang ran out, and then he broke and ran a rack. He broke dry, and Josh ran out. Got two racks in between there, and then another break and run, broke dry. Chang ran out with four break and runs. Broke dry and Josh ran out. Uh, we've had some rather high quality eight ball here. Seen some great runouts. We've seen a couple of safety battles. Josh was really, I'm going to say, brilliant to break the way he did to keep Chang from running out to that other rack and uh, able to capitalize on, on, on a miss. Well, one thing that could be very interesting is we already have two Chinese Taipei players in the semifinals. Chang could be the third. Uh, he will be because the 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 winner of of uh, match number nine will play match number ten. Oh, he yeah. still got to win this one. Right. Yeah, so and, he could be the so third he, to be in the... He, they, they could play each other. Yeah, yeah, that's for yeah. sure, yeah. Yep, they would play each other. Wow, must be amazing for Chinese Taipei. Yeah, they're not well. Three, yeah. three out of four in the semifinals. It's huge. Okay, so nine eight, Chang to break the balls, needs to make a ball on the break. Well, Chang has to win here for that to happen, and Joshua has a lot to say. One mistake by Chang, and it might not happen. Oh, made. One of the wing balls on the side. And look at how many balls went up table. Smashed them right in the face. What a break. Okay, what are the problems with the stripes, Timmy? We got a 10 ball up, up between the one and the seven that's uh, not in a good place. Uh, and that's all the problems with the with the stripe, everything else has a way to way to go off the table. Yeah, you might choose the 12 to get to the top short rail. What are the problems with the solids? The seven ball, right there in the middle of the upper half of the table, the brown seven, and the six ball is not in a good location, really. 
green six on the left side rail, the long rail. Yep. So pick your poison. He's going with stripes. He is going forward. Is he going? Oh. Oh, just cleared. So now he'll play for the 10. Can he come between the 2 and the 1 or go around the 1 for the 10, either in the side or the corner? I do like to play the 10 in the bottom left yeah. to, get in to get next to the 2 ball because it might give you the angle to I run into the 7 to have the 9 in the side. Oh, he has not. Does he have the nine? Does he have a small angle on the nine to punch over for the short side of the ten? Uh, I don't know if he can hold it. He's got an angle to play the nine ball to the corner pocket. Uh, if he plays it to the side, he has to come down table, and that means he's going to be limited to what he can do with the ten and how to get on the ten. Plays it to the, yes, he does have the perfect angle to get on this ten ball. But he's missed the and nine. He's missed it. And look what he has given. Uh, that might Joshua. seal on his fate. That just, he knows it. He knows it. Yeah, I was wondering. He looked a little bit straight on that. And he needed to move the cue ball over just yeah. that little bit. Just the six ball now for Joshua to solve. As the seven definitely is opened up. Everything completely open. The only problem, if it is a problem for Joshua, will be the six, the green six on the side of the left side of the table. Looking to go three, six, seven, eight. Four balls remaining to get to the semifinals of the 2024 Yalin World Eight Ball Championship. Well, he made that problem disappear. Well, he got great too. If he got straight on the six, things could be funny. But he's got that small little angle just to make sure he gets off the rail on the seven. In the end, it was for the break for filler a little bit. That was scary, but Chang missed a couple opportunities. He gave away a couple games. Well, he didn't give away a couple games. He gave the opportunities, just like you mentioned. Yeah. 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 And he hooked himself twice and missed the ball, yeah. and filler punished him both times. So this eight ball to get the job done to get the 10-8 win over Chang Yulin to get to the semifinals. The killer wins 10-8 and gets to the semifinals. This 2024 Yalin World 8 Ball Championship. What a match we have seen here. Plenty of break and runs. In the end was Chang who's made that mistake on the nine and Feller closed it out. As close to perfection as possible, you just saw a match played. Just a couple of little tiny errors. And Joshua Filler, the killer filler, takes it down. This is George Tejaya and Tim De Ruder.